Hello again, it's Mr. Dixon, your Too Cool for School Counselor. Welcome back to the Counseling Corner. Today, we're going to talk about careers. The first question we need to answer is what is a career? By definition, a career is an occupation undertaken for a significant period of a person's life and with opportunities for progress. Why do you think it's important that we talk about careers? Well, there are several reasons why it's important to talk about careers. Firstly, it's important to start thinking about what you want to do when you grow up, no matter what age you are or what grade you're in. Because only after you know what you want to do can you start planning successfully for it. Now that we've discussed why it's important to talk about careers, we're going to discuss the difference between a job and a career. A job is typically something you do when you're younger to make money. This is something that you're going to be working on part time. A career, on the other hand, is something you commit to that will allow long term growth and employment in a specific occupational path. Now we're going to discuss exactly what qualities make a great career. When you consider that a career is something you'll be doing for a long time, you'll want to make sure you enjoy what you're doing and that it's interesting to you. Otherwise, things will get real old real quick. Often, a great career will be something that you have a natural ability in or that comes easy to you. For example, I was always someone people wanted to talk to, and that made counseling a good choice for me. Lastly, a career has to be able to support the lifestyle that you want. That means whatever career you choose to pursue should make you enough money to afford the things you want to have in life. Now that you know a few qualities that make up a great career, let's look at a couple of different types of careers. These two types of careers are trades and professions. Trades are careers that require alternative education instead of going to college or a traditional school after high school. Usually you'll learn by working as an apprentice under someone who works in the trade already. If you're someone who likes hands-on learning, building and fixing things, you might be interested in a trade. Common examples of trades would be plumbing, electrician, and construction. A profession would be a career you would learn through a more traditional route such as more education after high school through college or the university. Examples of a profession would be things such as nursing, teaching, computer science, and so forth. Now I know there may be some times in class where you're sitting there wondering, why am I learning this? I think we've all felt that way before, even your teacher. Everything we learn is for a reason though. I'll show you some skills that we practice here at school that will transition to any future career that you want. The first skill we're going to talk about is punctuality. Punctuality means that an individual is on time and prepared. In school, it's important that you're on time to class and are prepared with the proper materials. Just like school, you have to be on time and prepared for work in order to be successful. Now, we're going to talk about attendance. Attendance means that an individual is present and where they need to be. In order to learn, it's important that you come to school and have good attendance. Just like school, in your career you have to be at work and in attendance when you're supposed to be. The next skill on the list is teamwork. Teamwork is working with others to complete an assignment or accomplish a common goal. In school, teamwork is important in things like extracurricular activities and group projects. No matter what career you choose, you will have to learn to work well with other people to get the job done. The last two skills we're going to talk about are critical thinking and leadership. Critical thinking teaches us how to solve problems, even problems we haven't seen before, by pulling from our existing knowledge base. You practice these skills in school through things such as answering open-ended questions and forming a hypothesis in science. In work and school, critical thinking is important because it prepares you to solve the many challenges you'll face throughout both. Learning about leadership means learning how to lead and how to be led. Leadership skills are important because there will be situations in any career where you'll have to work under a manager or that you'll be put in charge of other people. You learn about leadership through things such as extracurricular activities and being assigned specific class roles. Throughout this video, you've learned exactly what a career is, some different types of careers, such as trades and professions, why it's important to talk about careers regardless of your age, and also some of the skills you're learning every day in school even when you don't realize it, that will help you in any career that you choose. With all of this information, you should take the time and think about what careers might interest you in the future. Remember, you can do anything, but not everything. 
So focusing on what skills you'll need to learn for your career is extremely important. It's never too early to start. That's all for our lesson on careers. Until next time, remember that you're competent and capable. So always be confident. See ya.